So I'm in the room with intelligent women, am I not? Yes. Business owners, am I not? Yes. Yes. And so let me ask you this. For those of you, you can I see by a show of hands how many of you are building a team in your business? You're either right there, you got, you know, you got one or two, or you've got five, you know, you need, but you're building a team. Great. We're gonna do a little truth telling here. How many of you have at least once thought, I just wish these people cared as much as I do? Yeah. I wish they cared about their job, I wish they cared about the clients, I wish they cared about the business, my business. I wish they cared as much as I do. And how about, I feel like I gotta hold everybody's hand just to get anything done. Yeah. Ever feel like that? Like if you're just not, if you're not in there doing it next to them, it's just not getting done right, or it's not getting done fast enough. How about how many people do I have to go through just to find the right people? Are they out there? Anywhere? Anybody want to work? Right? Everybody wants something really fast. Everybody wants it now. They don't want to have to work for it like we did. Am I right? Mm -hmm. What's it going to take? to get these people to reform. I've offered them money. I've offered them gifts. I've offered them trips. I've offered them everything. I've threatened them. I've begged. What's it going to take? Anybody ever have that? Yes. I've had that in my business, so I know that feeling. And how about this one? Because I hear, I hear this one a lot. I don't have time to put any more in my schedule much less time to train these people. Yeah. How am I gonna train these people? They should already know how to do their job. That's what I hired them for, right? And I mean, is finding good people who wanna work really that hard? Aren't we in a job crisis? Don't people need to find some place solid to work? So let me just talk a little bit about um, a group of women that I just spent some time with and it, it was, I, I gotta tell you guys, it was golden what they were sharing with me. Because they answered some of these questions for you and for me. And it's what I've been suspecting, and it's what I've been working with my clients on, so I do wanna share this with you. I think it's gonna uh, shed some light for you. So these young women are successful women in the financial services industry, and they've had to claw their way to the top. They've had to literally claw their way up because no one showed them the way. Because as women, we don't do things the way men do them. Now, we love our men. I love working with men. I have men, you know, male clients, and uh, you know, I, I enjoy it tremendously. But they think differently. We think differently. We relate to people differently. We connect differently. And in this industry, we all know it is about making connections. And so I'm, you know, I'm listening to these women, and they're saying, you know, nobody is showing us how to do this business and succeed in this business in a way that feels natural to us. Nobody's holding our hand. You know, we sit in full, a room full of, of, of people in our industry, and they're mostly, no offense to anyone, but they are, is in my honest, but they are mostly 65-year-old white guys in a gray suit. And you know, we are talking about young, powerful, hungry women who want to build a business. Now, I want to share with you that uh, I had a client who came to me specifically, a woman who'd been in the business for about 12 years, and Tammy, and I'm so proud of Tammy, but when she came to me, she was really frustrated. Now see if you hear yourself in this at all, or someone you know in the business. And she came to me very frustrated because she had been doing this business for a long time, and she too had to figure a lot of things out for herself. She had to figure out how to get to the top. And she had to figure out, look, all she wanted to do, kind of came down to one conversation, she said, all I want to do is finally, one time, make Christmas cookies before Christmas. I want to decorate the tree before Christmas Day. I want to spend time with my kids and my family and my husband, but I'm a slave to this business, and I love my business, but I also want a life, 
and she was really down about this. And you know, everything that went along with it, and trying to build a team, and trying to figure things out, and doing things the hard way. And after about 10 months working together, what I was so delighted with is Tammy called, and she said to me, I've got to share something with you. She said, I've, I've run the numbers, because I always have my people run the numbers, because I want the facts, right? I want to know this stuff works when I'm teaching and when I'm, when I'm coaching them. And she said, I ran the numbers, and I am up, from just 10 months ago when we started working together, I'm up $100,000, not in revenue, in income. Wow. Taking home an extra 100000 in her wallet. And not only that, she said, I took my first vacation in 12 years with my husband. I took my vacation and I meant to take my Blackberry, but I couldn't get service and I was freaking out. And when I got back, my team produced more than they had last year when I wasn't on vacation. Can I, yeah, can I get a hallelujah for that one? Yeah, hello. Now, she also said that she got an email from somebody higher up in the company and she said, April, I could not believe this. Like, you know, that other stuff was great, and I know I, you know, that was stuff we were working on. She said, but I got an email, and I mean, nobody hears from this guy. He's like way up in the company. And she said, he wrote to me and said, congratulations on being number 68 in the nation. And we did that in 10 months. And I just want to let you know that it is possible. And here's the better news. I can show you step by step by step. Blueprint. Would you be interested in that? Yeah. All right. Let's get started on step one. And I'll take you through each step as we go.